Today's video is going to be broken up into two sections. The first part of this video is going to be the trophy shelf. I know I asked you guys if you wanted to see a video like this a couple months ago, and I wanted to save it for like a rainy day, but it'd be cool to show you guys exactly what I have on the trophy shelf, what I'm really proud of and grateful for, for all the years that I've been scootering. This is literally everything I've earned from scootering, and in my opinion, this is the most valuable, more than any cash or anything like that. These are the memories. So I'm gonna go quickly through the trophy shelf, show you guys some of my old signature parts, some other things that I'm really proud of, and just some memories from the last 15 years of riding. So we're gonna start off the top. The top has all my trophies. Again, these are probably trophies that cost maybe like 10 to $15 to make, but to me they're worth more than any prize money I've ever gotten. I have a first place trophy right here from Skate Park. This one's from Black Diamond Skate Park. I have a bunch of other second and third place trophies. Um, I have my ISA eighth place qualification plaque, and I have both my oil slick signature deck and my chrome signature deck from Envy, and of course my old T-sweeps from my old sponsor Phoenix. Then I have all my signature wheels. I used to be on Proto, if you guys haven't known that already, but I used to have signature wheels from Proto, uh, and then Revolution as well, and now I have these signature wheels from Envy, and these are definitely my favorite, obviously, because I'm running for Envy now. And I got signature deck right here, of course. Also, one really, really thing that I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of is having a, a, a cover of French Toast Magazine. This was one of the first issues of French Toast Magazine. Got the cover of this. Super hyped on that. It was like when sliders were like a thing. Uh, I actually started to slider and started learning all the tricks and I wanted to get a sketch picture. So I sketched a car real quick. I told the cop that I would be just sit, like standing next to the car. And he's like, yeah, can I get a photo next to the car? He's like, yeah, yeah, sure. And like, as soon as I saw a green light, held the car like, hey, my buddy Roy was getting the photos like, hey, press, just press press the picture, like press the shutter like 100 times and just see what we can get. And we got one that wasn't blurry and that was that one. Also, tech decks, I have two signature tech decks. So my own toy, it's pretty crazy. I've never opened one up. If you guys want me to open one up, let me know. I kind of don't want to, but it'd be cool to actually use it. I also have a couple other tech decks. I have a uh, tech deck BMX from Terry Adams. This is something that um, it's pretty cool because not only do I have one, he has one, he's the buddy, so I figured i scoop one up. Then I have the old Proto stuff from Proto Catalyst. I used to be on Proto years back and have the old DVD and plus like the Catalyst SCS and all that stuff. Then here I have everybody's signature sticker. So I have mine, this is like my sticker. Then I have our Willys, um, I have Raymond Warner, I have Claudius, I have Jack Dowd. Coda and have another Claudius thing, some other Coda stuff. This chicken right here was from the Funk Bros. We used to, um, at the time I went there, they loaded their whole trampoline up with those things. So I got one, I had them sign it. I have some custom bandanas. I have my old signature shirt. This Envy shirt was labeled from America's Got Talent when I was on America's Got Talent. This is like my, my uh, tryout number. Really hyped on that. I left that there. Then I got the homie RG. He got his signature wheels just because not sure how long he would have this color. So I made sure I had him give me some of those. I got some fan mail right here. I have some other stuff. I also have some wristbands and stuff from like other events from fees and like that, Nitro Circus stuff. And of course I have the Razor Scooter. This thing's one of the first ones that they ever made. This is the first one I ever used. Not this exact one, but this is the model that I used. And this is something that kind of started it all. If it wasn't for this thing, I'd, I wouldn't be here now. So thanks to these scooters, um, I'm grateful for everything that I have now. This is my knee brace. This is something that I wore right after my knee surgery. I had really major knee surgery that nearly changed my life. And because of this, I was able to ride earlier than I needed to. This is my old signature from my old sponsor, Phoenix. This thing was really awesome. Uh, a little heavy, but you know, it, it, it's definitely something, a good memory just because it's the first one I've ever had. And um, like I said, now I have this one, which is the most amazing deck period. And then I have my name on it, which is something I'm super grateful for. And I always catch myself just staring at this stuff and like, like really like thinking like, man, like if I didn't, if I didn't, if I didn't ride a Razor scooter back in the day, I wouldn't, you know, None of this would be here, you know, if it wasn't for you guys, none of this would be here. So this is something that um, I always stop and like, you know, going back and forth, I stop and look and I'm like, 
you know, it's pretty awesome because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to have stuff like this to look at and have memories, you know. Trophies, like I said, trophies are awesome. You get a prize money, all that stuff, but like, I always tell people I'd rather have a trophy than prize money any day only because this is something that you can see here. You know, in the, when you get prize money, you just put it in the bank and it's, that's it, it's over with. It's, it's not really, it's not really anything to be grateful for. Like money is like, it's great, it's security, but it's not, you know, I'd rather have a trophy. This is, I just remember like the times of like, oh man, I landed everything. Oh man, like just that feeling you can't beat. Um, I also have uh, this old gold scooter. This is the gold scooter that I used when I first got back from riding. I had the knee surgery and this was the first scooter I got back. I got gold and I did everything gold because Dave Muir did the same thing. Dave Muir came back with a gold um, BMX bike and X Games and destroyed it and did like so much stuff. So I figured, I, you know, as inspiration from him, I wanted to have a gold setup with all titanium stuff and that was that. And um, I filmed Flat Edit 4 with this scooter. So really hyped on that and it gives me like chills and stuff just looking at this stuff and like seeing how far um not just scootering but just like how far all this has taken me and and if it wasn't for this i don't know what i'd be doing i i really have no idea if people, I, don't, I don't even know like what regular job i would do i don't know what interests me you know this interests me the most it's something that i'm really grateful for i'm grateful for all of you guys helping me um since the very beginning regardless of if it's just liking my videos or just you know commenting saying like you like all my stuff or anybody that helped with my knee surgery or anybody helped with anything like supporting and getting my signature stuff like you guys really made my life and if it wasn't for you guys I, I'd, I'd have nothing so um, that's really it um, so the second part of this video is going to be a good session at 5050 skate park with John Hill and Saki uh, if you guys like this uh, trophy shelf let me know and let me know if you want me to really talk about something specifically like whether it's a wheel like a story behind something or a story behind first place trophy or a tech deck or anything like that if you guys want to get really into it let me know and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be hard you know I re i'm really proud of talking stuff like that just because of the the story behind it not just like oh yeah i got a signature part because we're gonna sell a lot you know it's more of like the feeling you get behind getting a signature part or getting a tech deck or, or being on america's at talent stuff like that if you guys want me to really talk about it let me know in the comments but uh without further ado let's roll the session